Chris Carpenter leads off for the Cardinals. Jake Peavy off the mound to field it. And there is one away. Well, most of this game has been Carpenter on the mound and Peavy sitting in the dugout. Here's Tony LaRusa telling the third baseman, do not break when Dave Roberts breaks. And that's why he was able to make this play. Now watch this. He wouldn't have been able to make this play. See where he catches it? All right, he would have been over here to cover third base, and then his momentum wouldn't have allowed him to go back to get this ball. See, he was four steps off the bag when he caught that ball. If he breaks the cover, he will not be able to make that play. The ball was hit hard, too. So Tony made the right call, and you don't cover third if you're going to throw to second base anyway. If that's the only place you're going to throw is second base. So that was telling everybody that he was only going to throw the ball to second base on the strikeout. Eckstein, the leadoff man now. He flied out to left his first time. Jim Edmonds out on deck. And there are a lot of little things that happen during a ball game that the manager controls from the dugout that a lot of times we don't see. So it was interesting to be able to see that. I knew that he wasn't covering because I was watching. But, you know, we see why he wasn't covering because Tony La Russa decided he didn't want him to cover. That's foul. Well, I knew he wasn't covering because I'm sitting next to you. <laughs> but I still think that Ryan Klesko could have gotten a bigger lead at first base and they wouldn't have had any place to throw if he struck out. Because uh, Albert Pujols was way off the bag at first base. One and two to Eckstein. Shallow center, base hit. And here comes Edmonds, who is responsible for the only run of the game. Most of the time, injuries will hinder you as a hitter, but some injuries can help you to stay in, keep you from pulling off, or keep you from overstriding. So all of them aren't bad. They, they curtail your power, but they don't hurt you as much. Now, see, that would hurt him. <laughs> when you swing and miss, and you pull the bat through with that front shoulder without making contact, that's when it hurts. Edmonds in his fifth division series. He's homered in all of those division series. He's been in three league championship series. He's homered in all of those. So this is his time of year. The only postseason series in which he has not homered was the one time he got to the World Series. The Red Sox just shut him down last October. And you can see what Peavy's doing there. He realized he tried to just pitch him inside. He went inside with fastball. See they're going back inside to make him have to pull the ball. See that you can uh, adjustments are what you know makes for a good series a good confrontation. He hit the ball outside for a home run. See and every pitch this at bat has been on the inner half. They're going to make him have to turn on the ball by pitching him inside. Well, they're going to go away now. And good high fastball. He did not get it. Well, PV has, as I said before, an exploding fastball. I mean, I don't care where he throws it. Even if he throws it in the middle of the plate, it's not easy to hit. I mean, his fastball looks like it has another stage. Watch this. It just seems like it just picks up a little more steam right out in front. It seems like it has a little hop toward the end of the pitch. But Pujols on deck. That's X down at first, one out. Back inside, which is where they wanted to go. See that? He can't get his hands extended. That's going to fall. Base hit. And X down will go to third. Edmonds into second. And they're going to walk him intentionally. They've already thrown ball one to him with the left handed batting, Larry Walker. Now, this is interesting. I mean, you got. A former National League MVP and a left handed hitter on deck. But that's the kind of respect that Bruce Bochy and the Padres have for Albert Pujols. Well, we saw that the other day with David Ortiz and the Yankees. They respected him enough to walk him almost in front of Ram Manny Ramirez. I mean, there are certain times and certain guys that just say, hey, I don't want him to beat me in this ball game." And Albert Pujols is definitely the guy in the Cardinals lineup that you do not want to beat you if you can avoid it. The crowd rises to its feet. We're at Bush Stadium, St. Louis. Game one of the National League Division Series. Jim Edmonds homered in the first inning. So far, the only run of the game. But now, the Cardinals are going for the jugular. The bases are loaded with one out against the Padres' Jake Peavy. And that will get a run home. And it rolls into the Padres' dugout. Edmonds also came home, but he'll have to go back to third. So Edmonds had to go back to third. 
And a breaking ball. One ball, one strike. Well, I, I, I probably have to go back and think that wasn't supposed to be a changeup. He just slipped and became a changeup because they hadn't thrown him changeup. They'd thrown him breaking balls and good and good hard fastballs. Two and one. Now you got the right-handed hitting. Reggie Sanders on deck. And now the Padres move the infield in, John, as well. When they walked pool holes, they were hoping for the double play ball from Walker. Now it's three and one. And you see, they're actually pitching around Larry Walker, I think. I mean, that was a change up down and away, so if he hits it, he's going to get a ground ball. Now they're going to walk him. I, I, this makes a lot of sense to me. You know, Reggie Sanders does strike out a lot. It's very difficult to double him unless he hits the ball near the bag, but at least you give yourself some options. The ball back to the pitcher, he can come home with it, try to get the double play. The third baseman can come home. A lot of things can happen now. But most of all, Jake Peavy is a strikeout pitcher, and Reggie Sanders does strike out. Sanders struck out his first at bat here today. Two to nothing. The Cardinals lead. Trying to build that lead. Still only one out. Strike on the inside of the knees. You know, let's make this clear, though, what happened here. Eckstein kind of blooped the ball into center field. Edmonds blooped the ball along the line, so they haven't really hit TV hard this inning, yet he's in a lot of trouble. A bloop single to center, just a pop-up that fell yeah. along the left field line for a double. Then a wild pitch after an intentional walk. Threw his bat at that one, that breaking ball, and now he's behind 0-2. The ball ended up in the steeps. Well, this ball's off the plate outside. Really good pitch by Peavy. And Sanders trying to put the ball in play, reaches for it, and he reaches so far he loses his hand, loses his grip. Sanders with the new piece of wood, and he'll touch it up with the pine tar rag. Well, this may be the inning right here, what Dusty Baker likes to call the inning of decision. I mean, the Padres could fall hopelessly out of this one right here. It's not a ball club with a, a whole lot of offense. And as you mentioned, this outcome with PV on the mound may be the key to their whole series. On to Slider, reach four, and off the glove of Sweeney into right field. Edmund scores. Here comes Pooh Holes. Thief! Walker over to third. Four nothing Cardinals. One of the underrated things about Albert Pujols is his aggressiveness on the bases. I think people just think of him as a hitter. But this guy runs the bases very, very well, very aggressive. There's that same slider away. This time he just kind of get, holds on to the bat. He hits it toward the end of the bat. But you can see Swinney tries to smother it, and the ball goes in a shallow right field. And Reggie Sanders drives home two. And as you mentioned, the Cardinals four to nothing. But here comes Pujols, and he's in there easily, actually. It wasn't even that close. Good hustle by Pujols. And here's Grenzelanek now. Three runs are in. That's the second, should be two. And it is. Loretta for Green to swing. What a disastrous inning for the Padres. 4 nothing Cardinals after three.